The Church of Santa Flora and Lucilla is situated in the square of the same name, previously called Piazza della Posta. It was built in 1278, following the Gothic style, renovating an earlier, less valued church. Uh, after that, the adjacent monastery was built in 1315. The church initially was four meters shorter than it is now, with three absidal rectangular chapels. It also had one big high nave with a characteristic double arched window. The wall on the southern part with two big windows and its stone work show that this church was accurately built. Probably around 1575, Vasari took care of the restoring of the building, turning it into a more Renaissance-like church. As the work carried on until the 17th century, there is a possibility that Vasari's project was changed. The bell tower was built in the mid 18th century and it is a great example of Baroque architecture. There is only one photograph remaining of the Vasarian facade. There was a big circular window that stood out against the plastered wall. The Baroque door, made out of stone, had a decorated tympanum on top. This tympanum had on top a framed traviation and another tympanum. Here you can see the symbols of Santa Flora and Lucilla, to whom the church is consecrated. The main wooden door has rectangular tiles. The entrance is completed by a bizarre staircase, an example of Baroque. The Baroque door, made out of stone, had a decorated tympanum on top. This tympanum had on top a framed trabeation and another tympanum. Here you can see the symbols of the saints Flora and Lucilla, to whom the church is consecrated. The main wooden door has rectangular tiles. The entrance is completed by a bizarre staircase, an example of Baroque. The facade had to be renovated in 1908 because the plaster had come down. Thanks to this, they could discover the remains of the Gothic facade. Three solutions were then proposed. To keep the elements of the 17th century facade together with the remains of the Gothic facade. To remove the circular window to uncover the double arch Gothic window and modify the facade's decoration to make the graft of the Vasarian expansion visible on the pre-existing church. To repristinate the ancient Gothic facade. The church was renovated following some of the features of the second proposal, mixing Renaissance and Gothic styles. This restyling is absurd and wrong with the method. In fact, it does not even match with the Renaissance-like inside. There are some portions of this side left in the adjacent monastery. These haven't varied since the 1200 and they still have two double arched windows that resemble the ones that are in the facade. This runs along Via Cavour. Its style is a bit anonymous, yet characterized by lunettes that brighten the church. Two are high above, near the transept. Three small ones brighten the lateral chapels. Nevertheless, the movement is created by disjointed volumes due to the staggered coverings. This side of the church is accessible by a private garden and includes the apps and the sacristy. The facade is not so important in terms of architecture and it is not well taken care of. The octagonal bell tower was designed by Gregorio Ricciardetti and between 1649 and 1650 it was built up to the second floor. It was completed by Fernando Ruggeri in 1711. It has several floors which have hope openings that differ in size and shape. From below a balustrade can be noticed. It has internal columns, rounded arches and round and octagonal shaped openings with no decoration. Due to the bombings of Second World War, there is no much left of the monastery, a small cloister and a bigger one. 
the Lazza, was designed by Giuliano da Maiano in 1470. Its construction only started in 1489. The inside was designed by Giorgio Vasari. There are a barrel vault nave and two barrel vault tiles. In addition to these, there are also three columns and four rectangular spans on two sides. There is another rectangular space in the nave, which is the choir. The plan of, of the church resembles that of San Salvatore in Venice or San Giustino in Padua, all designed by Vasari. However, the Vasarian project was not fully respected, maybe to save money, so that the vaults are not as high as they should have been. The principal dome wasn't built. The apse changes its shape from squared to semicircular and the lateral chapels are uneven. There are two main domes. The first one, a simple hemispheric dome, whilst the second one, above the fourth span, is painted on canvas. The painting is suggestive with its perspective and depth. There are other domes above the minor chapels built along the side walls. The passages between the nave and the aisles are characterized by an elegant decoration repeated four times in the church, arched in the center and forming architraves at the side. The structure followed the Vasarian design and it can be inscribed in a square with an eight meters side with ratio one to one. A big chromatism can be noticed between the gray columns and the white walls. This plain decoration was taken from the Cappelle Medice.